Welcome to the Lead Every Day Show. Our mission is to see a world well-led. And our strategy to get there? To empower leaders like you to lead every day. So let's get to work. Love that music. It means it's time for the next episode here of the Lead Every Day Show. I'm glad you've joined us. And let me just say thanks for all of you who have been sharing this content with your friends and family. Downloads are continuing to grow. We're excited about that. Welcome to today's show. I'm Randy Gravitt. I'm Mark Miller. And we want to ask you a question today. How good is your team? We've been talking about teams the last few days. Uh, we, we started, if you missed any of the December episodes, you can go back. We talked about becoming a better leader and had development plan kind of stuff. You missed any of those first episodes we did. But we're a few weeks in now. And we're, we're talking here about improving team performance. We think together is better. And as you focus on the results you're trying to create, yesterday you gave us really one of the first things that we have to have is a foundation of talent. There's something else that, that's gonna be required. Let's talk about that today. So what do you say we jump in here? Yeah, the, the second of these three key ingredients are skills. Yep. And, and that may sound like a blinding flash of the obvious, but you gotta have more than talent. You need to have skills yeah isn't it amazing how many people we get around and and they attract talented people but then they they get them in there and they just let that be where they are and they and they let yeah i almost think about the 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 college coach who's recruiting a five-star player or a four-star player whatever they would never that you know you just think about all these teams that are playing you know we get the playoffs going on for college football right now and the NFL playoffs are about i mean could you imagine just getting your you, you go to the NFL draft you draft your team and then you just say well y'all are Y'all are good enough. We got we got the best pick in the draft, and so we'll just let them. Yeah, not only not good be enough. Developed. What what I've seen in the marketplace over and over again is you put four, six, eight, ten talented people in a room, and you say you're a team. Yeah. Well, they're no more a team than they are a door. Yeah. They're exactly. a bunch of talented individuals. Yeah, they're just around. You the now table. got to learn to be a team. Yeah. And when when you think about learning to be a team, it's fundamentally about learning the skills. Yeah. And so the, and actually I like that there's two sides to skills. There are in the, what we would call individual skills. We'll talk about that in a second. But there are some team skills. Let's go back to your to your group of people around that table. There's some things they need to learn to do together cuz together is better if we can be together. I mean it's if we're not playing together we're going we're gonna to lose to somebody who's more aligned, really, in, when it comes to some of those things. So what are some of those team skills that you've, you've noticed through the years? We teach this a lot and talk about it a lot. What are, what are some of the ones that you think we have to keep working on if we're going to become a better team? I think we've got to work on very simple things like goal setting, problem solving, conflict flicked resolution. I mean, you've got to, you've got to agree on your process. How are you going to do these things together? Yeah, that's good. And, and another one that we talk about sometimes with organizations and, and I, and I find this to me, I think maybe surprises me as much as anything else is so many organizations don't think about how they do their meetings. Meeting management, I think is another team skill. If we, if we get our meetings right, it's, I, I had one leader tell me meetings are where we make all our money. It's sure. just like, that's, the magic because you can do so much in a meeting you can coach and train and and hold accountable and you know strategize i mean there's courage so and power there's so many things you can do in a meeting so some of those team skills let's talk about some individual skills what are what are some of the things when you think about an individual on a, on a team what, what are some things well, that jump out to you well individual skills i think find their origin in the individual like what is your role are you skilled are you gifted are you disciplined in your role if you're the marketing person on a team you need to be a really good marketing person if you're the human resources professional or the operations person um so many people think about it in a sports context again um learning the plays is of course a team discipline but you got to learn if it's basketball you got to learn to pass you got to learn to dribble you got to learn to shoot and so Far too many people don't bring their best self to a team. Yeah. You, you've got to be talented and gifted at what you're charged to do. Yeah, and, and, and I'll build on that. I think so many uh, individuals need to be able to communicate. I mean, there's so many things we could come up with that beyond just can they do their job but can they get along with people? And I would even say a, an individual skill is the ability to be a team player. Sure. Let's think about that for a second. So how many, how many people we have talented people around the table 
and yet they can't get along. And it, it, we've just seen so many times it hinders yeah. what's possible. Yeah, I've, I've had to remove people from teams for that very reason. They didn't want to be on the team. Well, building a team is a strategic decision that a leader makes. And you can't let one of the players on your team say, I don't want to be on a team yeah. because that means they get to go somewhere else. And I've done that both in the marketplace and in a nonprofit volunteer setting. If somebody doesn't want to be on the team, that's their choice. That's their prerogative. But they don't get to set the strategy. Yeah, that's good. I, I, I Yeah, as I think about that, how many times have we um, – we, we've seen these, these sports teams in – particular I'll, I'll beat that horse again here but uh that that they'll they'll like we're going to be able to make it work with this guy who's not a team player it's, they're very talented yeah but but not a good locker room guy and the next yeah. thing you know it never it just they're on a different team every year they are i mean it, we could actually name we, names. we could we won't, and but we, we won't you know exactly who they are but it but it really is it goes back to as we think about attracting talent and some of this we've got to level up those skills uh if if we're not doing that it, it's just shocking to me how how few uh, times that the highest payroll wins a championship. It's just, it's it really is that ability to get people to work together. And so, as you think about your organization this year, as you think about your team, not really your. Let's just keep it at the team level because you may not be feel like you're leading an organization. Maybe you just have a team that you're leading. I want to ask you: Do you have the right players around the table? Do they have the skills that they need? Does your team have the skills that it needs? Go back to what you were saying about can we set goals and resolve conflict? I mean, there's so many things there that we're able – good meetings uh, to, to be able to do. If we can do those things, we're going to be positioned to, to really level up our team. And so as you think about your team this year, do you have the right people? And what are you doing to make sure that every single person is getting better individually and that your team is getting better collectively? If you can do that – you're going to be you're going to be well on your way to improving your team's performance. That's the deal. You don't have to be perfect this week, but you should be trying to get better this week. If you'll if you'll do that, let me let me let me throw something in here. Uh, in the spirit of role clarity, the identification of skill gaps is the leader's responsibility. Now, we we have limited self awareness as human beings, but the leader's supposed to be able to see the skill gaps in the individual and the team, and the leader needs to take the action to close those gaps. Perhaps the leader's not the one doing the instruction, doing the training, but you can't let those gaps persist. Right, you're responsible. For you're them. responsible <laughs> yeah. for the skill level of your team. So, many, so don't miss that. Yeah, so many times, we, if we're not careful, we'll just go through the motions, and then we're frustrated with why don't they? Right. We and, assume and they're going to self. They're going to self fix assess, it. And, self diagnose. And that, I love what you said. That's our job as leaders. So, so if you're going to lead every day, if you're going and 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 you know, I'm going to say, remember the best leaders lead every day. If you're going to really do that, you're going to need to know what are some of those gaps. Let me give you something today that might might help you. We want to give you a free team assessment, one we've created. We think it'll just be a start to this journey together. If you'll go to lead every day and, and there's an improved team performance button, you click on that, you'll find that free assessment there. I think it'll also be in the show notes here as you, uh, as you look at those on your, on your podcast. But we, we, we think our teams can all get better. That assessment might give you an awareness of where you are. You have to start where you are. You don't have to stay there. You really can get better. We believe together is better. But let's make sure as leaders that we're getting better and the people around us are getting better. Remember, the best leaders lead every day. We'll see you next time.